the SFLM has returned once again for a sixth season of the Developmental League for the Simulation Football League. And tonight we have a clash of titans. The Albuquerque Adams come into town to take on the Madison Lynx up here in the great state of Wisconsin. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jack Brown alongside Rachel Olson. Rachel, how are you doing tonight? This is an exciting night. Should be some great SFLM action. Jack, I'm very excited to see all the new faces, all the new players. Getting ready for our draft. Can't wait to get the game started. Definitely, there's a lot of hot prospects here. I'm sure people from all around the league are going to be watching. We know we both are. As owners of Major League Simulation F Football League franchises, Albuquerque coming off as the reigning champions at Simulation Football League. Madison coming off a low season, got a new coach. Should be the game to watch tonight, everybody. Madison set to receive. Wearing their maroon tops, white pants. Albuquerque wearing the white top, black pants. And the sixth season of the SFLM is underway. Taking at the five, up past 10, 15, 20, 25 to the 27 yard line. And that is where the Madison Lynx are going to be uh, heading onto the field for the first time this season, led by Switch Thumper. And then one of their standout standout players on up should be tied in Ron Haynes as a two way player with the Florida Storm. Thumper under center. Thumper throws to the outside. That's going to be caught and going out of bounds for the first catch of this young season goes to Victor Williamson. Oh no. Prince okay. Wonders uh, injured on the play, Jack. Oh no. First play. And Prince Wonder, uh, a pretty highly valued wide receiver on this team, is already down. Second and six for the Lynx. Thumper looking around. Thumper moving up. Oh, he's run. Thumper. Oh, hit. But gets the first down. Switch Thumper. One of the new quarterbacks of this year. Already got himself up to a decent value. And he's shown that he's got wheels as well. Yeah, that's, I mean, running quarterbacks in the SFL are very uncommon. That's like right, right from the get-go here. Yeah. Thumper looking to the outside. That's going to be an incomplete pass. Dylan Lewis, the intended receiver on the play. His first target of his SFLM career. And Dylan Lewis is now the one, number one wide receiver on the field thanks to Prince Wonder going out. So, maybe even different if Prince Wonder would have been the actual receiver there. Yeah, the Lynx having one of the taller receiving cores here in the SFLM. Wonder at 6'4", Lewis at 6'3", and Ron Haynes at 6'5". Height very highly valued here in the SFLM. Thumper. Looking around, that's going to be hit as he throws. Ooh. Tipped incomplete. Third down and 10. Pass deflected by uh, by Tavius Gordon. And nice defensive play there. Nice coverage by the defense. And you say that, Jack, but Albuquerque actually has the tallest receiver on the field. It weighs 6'6 and 230 pounds. A two-way player for Indianapolis. Third down and ten. Thumper gonna throw it over the middle. That's gonna be a huge catch. Enough of the first down and a few more yards. Dylan Lewis, his first reception of his young career, and it gets him very good. Uh, it's a very good reception. He kept in it after dropping the first pass. He came he came up clutch of air with his reception, getting the first down and moving chains down the field. First and ten once again for the Madison Lynx. Albuquerque moving around their uh, linebacking core. Thumper throwing it to Lewis again. Lewis picks up four on the play. 
this time in the same pat, uh, same play, he actually hung on to the ball. Nice little pick up of four yards on first down. Yeah, these are the fundamentals that I think a lot of uh, SFL big league scouts are going to be looking at. The highlight plays are great and all. However, getting those fundamentals and seeing the fact that you can just do your job when you need to get it done is much more important, I would say. Thumper looking around. Thumper throws the outside. That's going to be caught, and the receiver is going to run out of bounds. And Prince Wonder, uh, currently says he might be able to return. The Satoshi Nakamoto, of uh, the new running back for the Madison Lynx. He was out of bounds in that play. I don't think he got credit. Third, and six. Third down six for Madison. Thumper goes over the middle, wide open catch. And that is going to be a Lynx first down. Not really and sure that what the, happened on defense there. The linebacker stayed home, secondary is playing four back. He's found himself in the middle of the field, wide open. Great little pass there by the, which Thumper. The Madison offense looking very good on this opening drive. First and 10, now a ball is at the 30. Thumper looking around, throws it down low, and that's going to be a gain of two on the play. I was a backup tight end, number 45, Sheldon on the play. Madison draining the clock on this opening drive, and it does make sense. Second and eight for the Lynx. Thumper looking around. Has all the time in the pocket. Throw the middle. That's caught. Down within the 10. Down to the five. And switch Thumper having a fantastic opening drive for his career. That was Curtis Walker, number 83. The wide receiver, backup wide receiver on the play. I mean, great route. Pretty decent coverage, too. Yeah, wide open. Uh, Thumper found the seam and was able to pick up big yardage. First and goal, balls at the five. Offset, I look for the link. Hand off to Nakamoto. Mo Nakamoto keeps his feet up, and he's going to go down after a gain of one. I think that's our first rushing play we've seen this, you know, in this whole entire drive by Madison. Yeah, Ricky Robinson. Cornerback on the tackle, assisted by two-way Dante Grimm. Certainly someone to be looking for at, in this Albuquerque defense, one of the two two-way players that these Adams have. Thumper throws right the end zone, touchdown. Madison Link, the first points of this young SFLM season are on the board as Switch Thumper really going with a great opening drive. Now is that backup wide receiver number 86, Victor Williamson, on the catch. Now Juniper Belson out to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and it is good with a relatively high value kicker, Juniper Bunsen. And Madison goes up 7 nothing. Well, I'm surprised that Madison came out with this, you know, air assault offense. I mean, they only rushed the ball one time in the whole entire drive. Yeah, but they do have some pretty high-value uh, players within their passing department. Obviously, Switch Thumper and P Prince Wonder was the main target that we were looking at going into today. Wonder currently on the sidelines after that, but Madison still goes up 7 nothing. Kick's going to be taken from the 10 for Albuquerque. And that's going to be first and 10 to the 28 as the boys from the Duke City come out led by Type Attack. I'm excited about the Albuquerque um, offense. They have three star receivers. I mean, two star receivers and a star tight end. Plus, they have a returning quarterback from last season. This should be interesting. 
Yeah, type attack also getting work with a big league SFL team in the Atlanta Swarm this past season. Three wide to the top of your screen. Quick drop for attack. That's going to be a throw over the middle. Gain of nine on the play. And that was the tight end, uh, number 87, Craig Westlake. He's a two-way player for the D.C. Dragons. Yeah, Craig got a playoff game tomorrow, so he's going to make sure to get this game in, get rested up, get ready for some SFL playoff action tomorrow between the uh, his D.C. Dragons and the Minnesota Legend. Handoff this time to Josh Slap, and Slap gets a first down, wheeling and dealing as Madison... Could not stop the first down. First and ten once more. Two wide of the top, one wide of the bottom of your screen for the Adams. Attack throws the outside. That's going to be caught. And a solid gain of eight by Ed William. Two-way player from Indianapolis. Yeah, but I think uh, Patek's got a lot of weapons on this offense, and he seems to be starting off using all of them. Yeah, the most notable of those being Honus Adobe, a uh, fellow Atlanta Swarm member. So I'm sure they already got some reps on the practice squad. Second and two for the Albuquerque Adams. Ooh. Patek moves around. He's going to be sacked. And a loss of two on the play. Couldn't quite catch. You got that sack, but good on them. I think that was Kano Fortson. Throw the outside. That's going to be a not enough for a first down. Nice stop here by the um, Madison defense. Coming up big. Forcing the three and out here. Not three and out, but <laughs> sorry about that. I mean, forcing for, a fourth for down. Yeah, they forced him upon and away. Punt is away from Albuquerque. Going to be fielded at about the 15 up to the 22 for Madison. And folks, if you're new to the Simulation Football League, the SFL combines traditional sports, esports, and a role-playing game into one. Team strategies are being executed in real time by our simulations as real-life players compete on the virtual gridiron. For more information about the SFL, visit our website, simulationfl.net. The SFL, we put the fan in fantasy. Deep drop from Switch Thumper. That's going to be a gain of four for the outside. Mickey Gibson may return. I didn't even see him go out of the game. They reported on it during the last drive. That was Dylan Lewis on the reception. Been having himself a pretty good game so far. Certain to impress uh, the big league scouts. Who may be watching. Let's talk about the new um, head coach at Madison this year. Yeah, they do have a new head coach. Vancouver GM Michael Prococo. As Thumper's going to throw it over to Nakamoto. And Nakamoto is going to be... No, that's actually not Nakamoto. Sorry, folks. That is number 45, uh, Sheldon H uh, Hilton. A big tight end. Yeah. Next score in 262. Yeah, there's four new head coaches around here in the SFLM. One of them is making his SFLM debut tonight in Prococo. Short drop, throw to the outside. That's going to be caught for a gain of four. Simple plays, not a whole lot of big yardage from Madison, but they're getting the job done. I like that. I mean, you do you you have to take advantage of what the defense gives you. They're giving them this little five yard, you know. Short passes, I keep doing it all night long. They can respond to it. Second down six. Thumper goes the outside. Ooh. That tip nearly intercepted. They were lucky that one fell to the ground. Incomplete. That's Alex Marshall. One of the new free safeties and one of the uh, more highly touted prospects 
out of this Albuquerque Adams team. And we're lucky, Zach. We get to call a game and scout at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you see, this is this is a uh, this is the excellent part about uh, being an owner and a broadcaster. You can kind of do these things at the same time. <laughs> Third and six. Thumper once again throwing in Lewis with another reception. Lewis, he's just been shaking and baking throughout this whole game. Even if it's still young, he is making himself known. And um, Biff Markham in the chat says Thumper is thumping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is uh, really living up to the name, I guess you could say. <laughs> Thanks for that one, Biff Markham. And feel free if you're watching to pop a hello in the chat. First and ten once more for the Lynx. Ooh. Thumper, and that's the pressure getting to him. And he's going to be knocked over. I number 98 DT, Melt Gibson. Well, Melt Gibson. Gibson. There's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is a D. D. <laughs> yeah. The relatively small defensive lineman, only at 5'10". 305 pounds, that's a big boy. Yeah. Very dense. I just thought I the T was silent. <laughs> Throw over the middle from Switch Thumper. Once again, Dylan Lewis is going to pick up another first down. And Madison making it work where they need to. Sorry, Jack. That was number 15 wide receiver Cameron Callahan, a backup wide receiver. Ack. First and ten once more. Shotgun with one with one man right beside him is Switch Thumper. That's just doing a Thumper. great job of eating this clock. Thumper throws over the middle. That's gonna be a gain of seven. Could have had the first down. But he decided just to run backwards instead. Yeah. Well for him it was forwards. You can't really blame him. Victor Williamson. The man with the grab. Bringing up second down and three. Madison just eating this clock right up. Thumper looking around, throws the outside. That's caught. Ow. Whole lot of green grass in front of him. Ben's not going to get much more than he had initially bargained for. And Curtis Walker with the reception. I thought the cornerback had a play on the ball, but he just missed and left the receiver wide open and putting a room up field. Great job by the line there, giving Switch Thumper all day to throw that ball. First and ten once again. Thumper throws. Oh no, that's caught! Another first down. This time it's first and goal. Dylan Lewis once again. And uh, Madison is just, take, is just taking the Albuquerque Adams and just picking the defense apart here. Great routes by the receivers. You know, pretty much getting themselves wide open. And burning the clock up in, in, all along. Second down and goal. Or first and goal, sorry. Too wide at the top of your screen. Thumper, lobs it, and it's picked off! And for the first time today, we see Madison make a mistake on offense. Let no other than, happens. no other than Dante, Dante Grimm. Yeah, Grimm, one of the premier players here in the SFLM on a two-way deal with uh, Louisiana. Now type attack is going to be able to come back out. That's the first mistake made by Thumper tonight. He was on a you know, pretty consistent drive there. Lots of completions. Yeah, forced the throw, though. That's the downside. Patak dropping back. Looking around. Wow. Sack. That was number 90. The backup DTN, Justin Marlin. I think that's, you know, that's the second sack of the night. 
Yeah, Patak. Probably, uh, probably on the ground a little bit more than he would like to so far. Patak looking around. He's going to throw oh, it. Big go! Oh. Going the other way for the Madison Lynx. That is going to be a pick six. And Madison undoes the progress that Albuquerque had gotten. And Madison goes up 13 zip. Oh my god, Jack. You know, it's just a great play. Receiver, you know, actually tipped the ball to the defender, and there was just nobody there to, touch, to catch him. That was so that Joseph went. Llama. Yeah, that was Joseph Llama. The two-way from Portland making the pick six happen. And already Albuquerque is in a position that they are not super familiar with. And that's being down two scores. Especially with the high-powered offense they do have. Yeah. Kick is up and it is good. Madison up 14-0. With just a little under a minute remaining here in the first quarter of the very first game of this young SFLM season. Six seasons has been going on for. Started back in uh, April of 2020. Kicks away from Belson. Taken at the 10. Up past the 20, 25 to the 28 yard line. Nice return there. At number 88. Kenny Jefferson, right back up wide receiver. Now, if you're Albuquerque, you've had the ball very little in the first quarter. Madison's controlling the clock pretty well. Need some points here. Yeah. Type attack under center. Heavy set look behind him. Going to hand it off to Josh Slap. Slap tries to wheel and deal his way through, but gains just two yards. Second down and eight. I'm still waiting for Albuquerque to start their, um, their air attack here. Yeah, surprisingly conservative play calling from what little we've seen out of the Adams. Deep drop from type attack, and he's going to get sacked again. Third sack of the night, and it's not even the end of the first quarter. Number 98. I'm not seeing that number on the... Dan Lear. Okay. With Thank a you. Sack. <laughs> the third sack of the night, bro. You had to do a better job protecting, protecting the attack here. End of the first quarter. Madison's up 14-0 on the Albuquerque Adams. Don't go anywhere, folks. You're watching the SFLM on YouTube. Attack moving up the pocket, steps into the throw. Ooh. That's another pick. Madison is unleashed on type attack. Joseph Llama, his second interception tonight. Oh my gosh, he just jumped at the receiver's route and got right in front of me. He read the quarterback's eyes the whole, whole entire time and just in the right place at the right time. And so far, Madison, after having a 1-7 record last season, has come back to show Albuquerque why they won their two rings throughout their history. Thumper throws the outside. That's going to be a catch. Gain of five on the play. Curtis Walker with the reception. And Madison's just not... not Keeping their, um, their foot on the gas pedal. They just keep moving the ball down the field. Second and five. From the Adams, 
Second down and five. Thumper looking around, and Thumper's going to get sacked. Nine, number 93, defensive man Hunter High, 6'5", 284 with the sack there. Third down and 12 for Madison. High snap for switch thumper. Thumper going to go down again. And that might also put him outside of Juniper Belson's field goal range. As the defensive lines here have just been devouring quarterbacks. Hey, kid. I mean, you started, um, you started your drive with really, really good field position. In field goal range, I, they're gonna they're gonna try it anyway here. I think this is a long one, Dak. Yeah, it should be about forty nine yards for Juniper Belson. Let's see what they can do. Kick is up. Wow, it's good. Madison is up seventeen nothing, and the Lynx are showing their prowess on all three sides of the ball. You know, it always pays to have a contractor on your team. He barely made that one, but he made it. That's all that counts. Kicks it away from Belson. Taking it about the 5 up past 10, 15, 20 to the 24 in Albuquerque. Who many probably thought were going to do well coming into tonight are going to have to start digging deep. Yeah, this game, if they don't score soon, this game could get really out of hand for them. First and ten. Deep drop for Patak. He's going to take it himself and slides down. Gain of five on the play, and that's probably Albuquerque's best play in the past two or three drives. Very smart move there by Patak. You know, he felt the pressure, saw the opening, took it, took advantage of it, and now it's taking it in five instead of, instead of getting a sack there. Second down and five. Quick drop for Patak. Throw over the middle. That's going to be caught. Tried to juke inside, but he got hit stick. And down at the 40. That's number 88. Wide receiver Kenny Jefferson, who had a great route in the middle of the field. Got himself open. Quick pass. First down, Albuquerque. First and ten once more for Albuquerque. Going to throw it to the outside to Josh Slap. Slap. Gains seven on the play before he gets slapped to the ground. Number 53 with the big hit. That was outside linebacker Claudius Periwinkle. The big hit on the play. Claudius Periwinkle, definitely uh, an early favorite to get onto the SFLM all name team. <laughs> Second down and three. Quick drop for Patak and a throw to the outside. Oh. Let his receiver too far. Third and three. Pass intended. For I think that was. That was Ed Williams. Missed the number two. Couldn't see it. And a very important third down conversion here for Albuquerque. Yeah, they're going to need this in order to keep in touch. Patak lobs one deep. Caught! Wow. What a layout catch by Ed Williams. Using all six feet, six inches of his frame. 
to lean forward and get that football. And that time he just jetted down the field, past both cornerbacks, and then got himself wide open and a great pass up attack. The finest open receiver and what a great, you know, acrobatic catch there at the end. First and ten. Attack over the middle. That's going to be a, another medium range catch. Good enough for a first down. Gets him into the red zone for the first time today. That was number 88. Back up by receiver Kenny Jefferson. 5'10", 207. And Madison's finally, I mean, Albuquerque has finally found the rhythm here in the offense. Penalty on play. This is going to be 3-1 for Albuquerque as Josh Slap gets probably six or seven yards. They're probably just going to take the penalty. I think I would T-point. Repeat, repeat the down. Get the five yards. Neutral zone infraction. Number 99. Defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat. First down. And they do accept it. Dan Dash. Uh, one of the new players here in Madison, the man who jumped off sides. First and five now, balls on the 13. In off the outside for Josh Slap, Slap cuts inside, Slap gets to the five yard line, first and goal for the Adams. Nice little spin move there by Slap and just slapping players out of his way to get the first down. I, I, I have a feeling this man's going to have a lot of nicknames and a lot of uh, kitschy er, and a lot of things <laughs> said about him by us broadcast that his career for good reasons, though. For good reasons. Makes it first fine. and goal. Yeah, first and goal for Albuquerque. Ball's on the five yard line. <laughs> And off the outside, four slap. And he's going to gain a single yard. Second and goal from the four. I think Albuquerque is playing it kind of safe here. I mean, potentially had two interceptions on the day. Maybe trying to score here on the ground. Second down and goal. Throw to the outside. That's going to be caught by Slap. Running into the end zone. And Slap some points up on the board. Albuquerque's in for six. That time there was nobody on the coverage on the um, near sideline. And perfect little pass to the halfback. And he just ran to the end zone basically untouched. And now Ye Verity, kicker for the Adams out to attempt the extra point. Kick is up and it is good. 17 to 7 here in Wisconsin. Glad to have you along here tonight for opening night of SFLM season six. Now Alexander, Larry Alexander says, Yay, it's good. <laughs> Kick is away from Ye Verity. Taken at the 10, past the 20, 25 to the 29 yard line. And the SFL Network is coming to the ESTV Plus app. 24 7 programming will include content created by the community, the SFL's greatest game for the archives, exclusive network content, and live SFL regular season games. Download the ESTV Plus app on your Android or iPhone or on your TV through Roku, Amazon Fire, Vizio, and more. The SFL Network, where SFL creators come together. Switch Thumper looking to create some offense on this drive. Gain of six on the throw. Thumper's having a, a pretty good game so far now, Jack, so keep it up. Yeah, 
Yeah, and, and it's impressive to say, too, considering the fact that he doesn't have his number one wide receiver on hand. <clears throat> Second and four. Deep drop for Thumper. Caught for a first down. Tried to spin his way out of that, but not good enough. I do like and the um, Madison, you know, I like their approach on offense. You know, just taking what the defense gives them. Nothing fancy, nothing flashy. Five, six shorts at a time. But, it's, you know, it's, it's working for them. Hand off up the middle for Satoshi Nakamoto. And Nakamoto's going to gain six yards, take Madison up to midfield. Yeah, but that is name a whole lot tonight, Jack. They need to get more involved in the offense. Well, they're starting to get him more involved, and that's a good thing. Second throw, this time the throw is out to Nakamoto. Nakamoto gains three. He needed four. Third and one. It's third and very, very manageable here, though, I think, for the Madison um, offense. Third and one throw to the outside. That's a first down. Turn up the sideline to the 39. Those out routes are just money for Madison at this point. I prefer he's got to find an answer to that. Yeah, although it seems to be Albuquerque's playing really soft off, off the line. They're not really getting into the nitty gritty of it. Thumper looking around, throw the outside. That's going to be another catch. Good stop by the receiver coming back for the ball that time because he was really well covered. Yeah, Walker really stepping up, filling that wide receiver two role. Haven't seen much Dylan Lewis on this drive, though. Second down six. Throw to the outside once again. It's going to be a gain of four. They're going to mark it down as. Third once and again, one. Once again, those little out routes are money. Albuquerque's got to, got to do a better job um, defending those sidelines there. Third and two. Thumper goes to the outside. That's going to be lots of green in front of him. And that is a first down Madison once again. And Back Sheldon up tight end. Continues it. Yeah, he's having a pretty good day himself. I mean, he caught the ball. You know, he had plenty of space in front of him. Just kept going. And went, you know, moving the ball down the field nicely. First and 10, balls on the 19, throw the outside. That's going to be a high point Aww. catch drop. Back up by receiver eight, number 83. The ball was just, it was in his hands. There's no reason why he shouldn't have caught that. Yeah, Curtis wide Walker, open. His, fir his first drop of the day, just couldn't pull it in because he probably could have had a touchdown if he held on to it. But alas, here we are, second and 10. For Madison. Second and ten. Just a few seconds remaining for the two-minute warning. Throw oh, back in the end zone. Oh, touchdown. Madison. Add on to their lead before the half. Victor Williamson makes it 23-7. He's making up for that drop he had in the last play. 
But I mean, that was a perfect pass and heavy coverage. Great route by the receiver to go up and get the ball and touch down Madison. And Thumper, you know, there, there are some pretty big QB openings up in the SFL proper coming into next season. Thumper definitely making his name known to uh, anyone who's scouting for that position. And a you know, decent sized quarterback, he's 6'4, he's 325. Kick is up and it's good from Juniper Belson, 24 7. Madison in the lead, and they're looking great. And Bumper is showing like he has no fear. He's throwing in you know heavy coverage. He doesn't care. He feels comfortable in the field. He's doing a great job. Kick is away, taken from the five. Up to the 20, to the 25. And that'll bring us to the two minute warning. Madison up 24 to seven, but Albuquerque looking to close the gap, heading into half time. Don't go anywhere, folks. Oh, it's a pretty quick first half, Jack. If you're a Madison fan, this could not have gone better as a first half, Albuquerque the team from Duke City struggling a little bit. Hand off to Josh Slap. Slap going up the middle. That's going to be a gain of five. He's been having himself a pretty good night. Probably the highlight of this Albuquerque offense in the first half. I'm surprised. Um, Albuquerque seems to be playing very, very conservative on offense tonight. Especially with all their weapons they have, you know, at the receiver and tight end spots. Yeah, but we were talking before the game. We'd expect them to go aggressive, go with a pass-happy playbook. But it seems to be quite the opposite. Hand off of the middle for Josh Slap once again. Slap rumbles forward for three yards. Makes it third and three. When you're down by a couple of touchdowns, you become more aggressive on offense at this point. Yeah. Keep your poor tired defense off the field. Third and three, Albuquerque looking to get some momentum going into the half. High point ball, that's gonna be caught first down. Move the chains. Look at Craig Westlake on the reception. Hand off in the middle to Josh. Slap, slap, gains three. They're going to keep going in the hurry up. 50 seconds and counting. They have plenty of time. They got all three timeouts here. Quick throw Ooh. over the middle. That's going to be a hip incomplete. 43 seconds to go in the first half. At least that plays up the clock here for them. Third down and seven. Third and seven for the Adams. Looking around, Patak throws short to Josh Slap. Slap! Put to the ground, fourth and seven, and they're gonna have to punt this one away. Yeah, I'm surprised that they caught that play on third down. I mean, you needed seven yards there. There was no way you were getting that out of that play. No, now Albuquerque forced to punt this one away just before halftime. Leading this clock away. This is going to be the last play of the half. Punt is away from Albuquerque. Taken by Madison up to the 24. And that will bring us to the end of the first half of SFLM action here in Madison, Wisconsin. Been quite the first half of action, Rachel. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, you know, like I said, I was surprised about, you know, the... Basic aggressive play by Madison and the conservative play by Albuquerque. Let's see what they do with the halftime, make some adjustments, and come back on the field. Yeah, definitely the main the main team needing to make adjustments is Albuquerque. Their offense has been, well, you can see it right there, it's been not very great. 
on pretty much every front. Three sacks, two picks, one touchdown. It's just not been very good compared to Madison so far. It's not to say that it's impossible. Crazier things have happened here in the SFL. And especially the SFLM. It's just that things aren't looking too hot. I think the Adams have to regroup, come back out, use their receivers, use their tight end, and the fact that he's to settle down and not throw the ball away. Yeah, they, they have been playing a little bit too reckless so far. But like still, you said, we have a whole other half of the football to go. It could go either way. Yeah. Main thing, though, for Albuquerque, I would definitely say go a little bit more aggressive on play calling. That's, it's been almost frustrating. Meanwhile, for Madison, just keep doing what you're doing. And hope that Prince Wonder comes back. That would uh, definitely benefit things. Definitely. Look at that amazing catch right there. Number yeah, that was a highlight Ed play. Williams. That was a highlight play for Albuquerque. Ed Williams diving reception. That drive was capped off by a touchdown. Meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, Thumper has been having himself a pretty good game himself. Switch Thumper. Looking like probably the best QB of these two. That's surprising because I mean this is this is Patak's second season in the SFL. Let me think he'd be um, having a better game. Yeah. Second half is underway from up in Wisconsin. Ball taken at about the nine yard line, up past the 10, 15, 20 to the 27 yard line. First and 10 for Albuquerque. Let's see if they can become more aggressive on offense in this drive. Nope, they do. Attack, deep drop, gets the block that he needs, throws over the field, that's good! That is a big play to start off this second half from Honus Adobe. I'm finally, I'm glad to see they're finally getting their receivers involved. I like this play, I think it's aggressive, I think they need to see more of this to win this game. Especially after the first half that we saw from Albuquerque, where they played very conservatively. Throw to the outside for Patak again. Gain of five. Yeah, that's how they're becoming more aggressive here. They're not, you know, trying to run the ball for second downs. So I think, you know, it's a good sign. That's gonna be tipped and nearly income and nearly intercepted. Tip That's drill it. there performed by uh, Gary Hound. Yep, yeah, attack needs to settle in. He's making way too many mistakes and making some very very dangerous passes. I'm not sure what's you know what's happening on the field with him tonight. Been playing rather sloppy to say the least. Third down and five. Deep drop, throw the outside. Ooh. That's going to be caught. And that's going to be a lot of room down the sideline to the 25. Ed Williams with another catch. I'm glad to see Ed Williams involved. He got a great catch and broke a couple of tackles running down the sideline, stayed in bounds, picked up the first down. He asked for anything more.
Ball is on the 25 offset. I look for the Adams. Hand off to Josh. Slap, slap, Ooh. pick him a block. Wide open room. Touchdown, Albuquerque. And they are bringing it right back in themselves into this football game. With a great back by O line there, and a great block by um the receiver. And basically, he just came into the end zone, and no one touched him. That's what you like to see if you are a Joshua Williams head coach of these Al Albuquerque Adams. It's the best um, drive we've seen by from Albuquerque tonight. Easily. Now, yay Verity out to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. And yay, it's good. good. Great minds think alike, as they say. 24-14 in favor of Madison. Albuquerque showing their halftime adjustments do work. Don't wait now, but Albuquerque's right back in this game. Kick is away, and it's going to be taken at the 5, up past the 20 to the 25-yard line. First down and 10 for Madison. Offset look for Madison. Thumper throws Ooh. around. No, nearly picked off. That could have been going the other way. Nearly picked off by Ace Singletary, the two-way from Charleston. I'm sure you're very familiar with him, Jack. So, yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure to blow him up in the locker room after we're uh, all done here tonight. I'm gonna catch that ball. Look, it's the Charleston tradition. We drop very easy interception. Second down and 10 for Madison. Thumper goes on the middle. That's another drop pick. That's this Alex time. Marshall, number 24, their free safety. Yeah, Alex Marshall. Third down and ten, lob deep incomplete. Alex that was Alex Marshall, Marshall again. <laughs> yeah, Alex Marshall, the tip, one of the most active rookies currently in the simulation football league, especially in the Discord server, making himself into a highly coveted prospect. And great job by Albuquerque this time coming on defense and basically being where they need to be. Three pass deflections in a row. Punches away, taken at the 40, up to the 45. That'll be first and 10 for Albuquerque. And great starting field position for Albuquerque this time on their, you know, on their own 46. Short in the field. Flaps got a nice little average going there, 5.8 yards per carry. And off the outside for Josh Slap. Slap picking up some blocks. Cuts Ow. inside. Oh, he nearly broke that one free. Crossed the midfield stripe to Madison's 40-yard line. I'm impressed by their run game of Albuquerque in the second half. Got great blocking in front. Making it easy for Slap.
tag. Th short throw to the outside. Gain of two. But the clock still moving. Catch made by Honus Adobe. I think the O line from Albuquerque is doing a better job of protecting the protectors um, in the second half so far. Second and eight. Tag moving around, short throw, and that is going to be nowhere near first down. Maybe he got a few inches out of it. I'm not exactly sure. That's still a smart pass. Avoiding the sack, he felt the pressure. He just dumped it off. There's a you know highlight of Claudius Periwinkle right there in the middle of the screen. Dime three two look out of Madison. Patak throw on the run Whoa. picked off. And just everything was looking good for the Adams. It goes right back, swings the other way to Madison. And that's Ulysses Yale, the cornerback with the interception. That was just a bad throw by Tack. I mean, there was no receiver. Near kicking that ball and he was just well covered. Defense was re really ready for that pass. First and 10 for Madison this time. Throw to the outside. That's going to be a out of bound row. They're going to say he gained a yard, however. Hilton with the reception. I think Madison just came with what they know. Well, you know, four and five yard out rats. That time they didn't really work that well. I got one yard in the play, but it's not going to change very much on offense here. Thumper throws to the outside, tipped oh. up in the air. He's getting really risky with these throws. He's lucky nothing's been picked off yet. And the Adams secondary is looking so much better in the second half. All these pass deflections. So I can't see the number. Number 41. That's, that uh, is that's called the Osborne Davis. Yeah, first time we've gotten him involved in this uh, game. Third and third and nine looks like. Thumper throwing over the middle. That's caught. Oh, there's no one in front of him. There's someone behind him though, who caught up in the nick of time. Dante Grimm on the tackle. But Thumper continuing to show what he's made of. I think they went for the long pass there. I mean, he found himself wide open all by himself. Great throw. Massing getting aggressive here. Thumper throwing the outside. Flag on the play. We'll have to see what the flag is, though. I didn't see a jump, did you? No, but that's Prince Wonder back in the game. Number 56. Off and it's offensive <laughs> holding <laughs> against Madison. I said move the ball backwards. Yeah. Just as their wide receiver one, Prince Wonder, enters the game. Welcome back to the game, Prince. Thumper Ooh. darts it and it's dropped. That was tight end number 45, Shelton Hilton, the backup tight end. It seems to be that the script is almost flipped a little bit here, Rachel. 
Albuquerque going aggressive on offense while Madison's just kind of playing it safe. And they do have a, a pinpoint lead here, Jack, so I mean, it would be too crazy, guys. <laughs> Thumper throwing nice. the ball downfield and another wide open catch. Being up all those yards for first down. The defense was just playing in the zone and Callahan got in between all the zone uh, coverage and just was found himself in the middle of the field wide open. Yeah, and made the two defenders cross each other. So that's huge for Al for Madison as they're now within Albuquerque's 35. Thumper lobs it deep. Another drop interception. Yeah, 32, away. 32 cornerback Ricky Robinson had his hands on the ball, just couldn't come down with it. Yeah. Very pass, though. Second and ten for Madison. Throw over the middle. That's another laser. Through coverage. And Prince Wonder gets it. And gets his name called. He's getting his name called a lot now that he's feeling better. Yes, Prince Gumper. I mean, he's just showing what an arm he has. That was a rocket laser pass. I mean, you couldn't throw it any better than that. Balls in the 21 now of Albuquerque. Thumper oh. throws in, and it's another incompletion. Oh, that's the second one you get to talk to Ace about. <laughs> Number 54, Ace Singletary, with another pass deflection. It should have been an interception. Now Madison just outside of the red zone on second and 10. Throw over the middle. That's another tip incomplete. Albuquerque playing bat, just batting all the balls away. Simbrowski with that one. I like that name, Simbrowski. Third and ten, switch thumper under center. Looking around where to throw over the middle. That's Ooh. another catch or a first down. Callahan with another reception and switch thumper. Throwing lasers wherever he, he goes. He's like showing no fear. I mean, he's throwing the ball in coverage. He doesn't really care. And he's just, I mean, like you said, it's just a laser of a throw. Very accurate, very pinpoint. Very impressive. First, first and goal, ball is on the nine yard line for the Madison Lynx. Thumper looking around and that's oh. gonna be intercepted! And he's gonna pick up some blocks down the sidelines! Can he break away? Yes, he will! He is to the 30, the 20, Gold Osborne Davis! Touchdown, Adams! Yeah, I watched the guard number 68, Wallace Taman, Tamanin, Tamanini, chase, that big man chased him down the field, just no catching up to him. And as I was saying throughout that entire drive, Twitch Thumper was playing with fire repeatedly. And now instead of looking to go up two scores, he's looking to go... He's going to be up by just about three points. Wow. I mean, all the uh, past deflections we saw on the last two Madison drives, it's just amazing that wasn't picked off before. And what a great pick at a great time, and the whole field was in front of him. Albuquerque punishing switch thumper. 
making a three-point ball game. I mean, what a comeback by Albuquerque so far. Yeah, two titans of the SFLM facing off in what has been a very good opening of the sixth season so far. Ball taking at the five, up past 10, 15, 20, spin inside to the 20. Seven yard line. The SFL minor league is underway, but it's never too late to create your player and get him or her involved in the next rookie class. Season 20's rookie draft takes place December 17th and 18th, so don't miss your chance. The sooner you create your player, the better your player will be on draft day. For more information, visit simulationfl.net. Hey, I'm not sure what Joshua Williams told his team at halftime. It must have been something. They came back out here on fire. Yeah. Tavius Gordon with his fourth tackle of the day. This time wrapping down Prince Wonder. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to Prince. He caught the ball and then ran the other direction. Second and 13, deep drop for Switch Thumper. Thumper going deep! Tipped and complete. Third and 13, and Thumper, I'm noticing, during the first half, he was a lot more willing to just take what the defense gave him. Now he seems to be, he seemed to have gotten a little bit in on his own head and is trying to go for it all every play. And that was Dante Grimm on the coverage again, and he just went up and tapped up all the way. Um, great job at the secondary. Yeah, they're, they're becoming basically lights out. Third down and 12 for the Lynx, or third and 13. Thumper Ooh. moving out of the pocket as he throws incomplete. He's very, very lucky there that that was not. That he overthrew everybody because that was a very, very bad pass. That was horrible. Very dangerous. Pass was deflected by a Singletary. Or pass pressure was applied by a Singletary. Great defensive stand by Albuquerque here getting the ball back to their offense. Fair catch at the 42, and now type attack in the Albuquerque Adams offense. We're going to be able to lead their team, hopefully, to take the lead of this ball game. Now, I will say this. Albuquerque is definitely winning the field position battle here tonight. I think, you know, they're getting started on with basically on their own 40 or further in. So, very short field for them so far in the second half. And off the outside for Josh Slap. Slap's going to lose two yards on the play. Second and 12 from the 41. Catch made, I mean, tackle made by Hounds. And by Albuquerque, you know, staying true to their, their offense, keeping the defense honest, running the ball here and there. Can't become one, you know, one dimensional here. Deep drop throw over the outside. That's going to be a gain of four. Gain back the yards and get a few more on top of it. Now you're in third and eight, and your playbook needs to you know mid to long pass here. You need to convert this, this third down. Attack moving up, locked Ooh. it, deep, picked off again, and Madison gets a few blockers. And Llama, I think, it's his third pick of the day. Wow, he that has time. found the antidote. And that time, the pressure 
high mass and caused Patak to hurry up his throw. Made him, made him make a mistake there and throw the interception. And Lama is just having himself a game. Three interceptions for the two-way from Portland. Now switch Thumper, gets the ball back on the 45. And now Albuquerque's got to get Madison off the field quick. And I think uh, Mr. Lama wants himself a big uh, SFL contract this season coming. <laughs> Looking to get the pay raise. Deep throw, Ooh. and that's going to be in the fumble. They're going to call it on the field. Yeah, I think I'm going to see a challenge flag here. It wouldn't be smart. I don't think he ever had possession of the ball, Jack, but that's just me. Yeah. Let's it's see what up happened. To, it's up to R62. No, he never yeah, caught it. He, he had the ball for like a split second. I don't think that's enough time to register it as a fumble. There was no football move. Yeah. But it's R62, so let's see what he has to say. <laughs> So let's see here. Yeah, that probably wasn't long enough. His feet didn't even get the chance to touch the ground. So Madison should keep possession. And they do. And Madison holds on to the ball. And for the time being, hold on to the chance to extend their lead. Second and ten for Madison instead of first and ten for Albuquerque. Go to the outside once again. That is a gain of five. They're going to mark it down as Prince Wonder now getting some... Now getting quite the amount of love since he came into the game. They're going back to their bread and butter with a little four and five um, out routes there. Third and six. Thumper throws it out. That's going to be caught for a first down. Dylan Lewis getting his first catch in a very long time. Yeah, since Prince came back into the game, we've seen very little of Dylan Lewis. A great job on, him on the first down conversion, a third down conversion here for the first. First and ten once more for Madison. They're going to throw it to the outside. That's caught by Dylan Lewis. He gains eight on the play to the 26. Now the Adams were doing great when they're trying this mid to uh, long range passes, but now that they're going back to the little five and six short out routes, they're not covering them at all. He just needs to step up and shut that down. Yeah, because switch thumper, that's where his bread and butter is right now. Second and two. Short throw, and that's going to be enough for a first down to the 22-yard line. And once again, the cornerbacks are like seven yards off the receivers, um, leaving the, you know, those little five and six-yard dump routes. I mean, there's, there's nobody there to defend them. Be a first down every time. Once again, we're in the same kind of coverage. Yeah, Albuquerque playing off the line again. I mean, way off the line. And that's going to allow for Switch Thumper to play the game and gain eight to Prince Wonder again. Wonder now showing his value to the Madison offense. I mean, look at that. I mean, you can't be any more wide open than you are right there. Let's go. See what happens as you're deep into the red zone here. 
Second down and two. Two wide to the bottom. One man in the backfield. Throw the outside from Switch Thumper to Dylan Lewis. Makes it first and goal on the seven. And great job by Madison just taking what the defense gives them. And it seems to be working for them. They're on this, you know, their first and goal on the out of the 57-yard line. First and goal on Albuquerque 7. Deep drop from Switch Thumper. Cool. High ball incomplete. Let him just a little bit too far. Hey, great try there. You know, by Thumper. But then we're only the receiver could catch it. Avoiding it, all the defensive players. So, not a bad, not a bad shot at the end zone. Second and goal. Quick drop, tipped up oh. in the air. Hip drill is gonna fall to the ground. Incomplete. Gordon is gonna be the main man accredited with the deflection. Bring the up third and goal. A single Terry just missed another pick. It was right in his hands again, Jack. You don't need to keep reminding me of the 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 tradition, you know? <laughs> Third down and goal. Hey, Thumper play. throws over the middle. That's not going to be enough from Prince Wonder. Fourth and goal at the two-yard line. And Albuquerque forcing the field goal. Great defensive stand by Albuquerque. You know, finally closing up the gaps in the defense and forcing the field goal. I mean... You 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 play a linebacker. How many how many picks do you have, Jack? Uh, I think I have like four or five throughout my career, or like six. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I do have a pick six though, which make which uh makes me better than some people. Are we not gonna mention any names tonight? <laughs> no, no, no. They know who they are. Field goal's good. We still have a one that, score game here. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. Madison up 21, 27, 21. It's a close game, everyone. Get your numbers up in chat. You're watching the SFLM on YouTube. Turn up to the 22 before he gets the hard shoulder on him. He's nice out there. He's got a family. And off the outside for Josh Slap, who gets slapped to the ground. Losing a few yards on the carry. They're going to say it's a loss of two. Periwinkle with the tackle. We got an uh, all-name team on all-name team uh, <laughs> tackling going on here. I love it. And off the outside again for Josh Slap. Slap gets the yards back. And one on top just to make it a little bit sweeter. A great tackle there by outside linebacker Gary Hounds. Third and eight. Throw the middle tip, and that's going to be batted away. Fourth down and eight for Matt, for Albuquerque is Perry Winkle. Steps up again and deflects that one. And another dangerous pass by P Patek. I'm not, you know, got to be more careful, especially in the middle of the field. 
There's just too many defenders staying in there. Yeah. Snaps a bit low, but the kick is away. Gonna be taken at the 40 to the 44, they're gonna say. And Matt has another chance to extend the lead. Matt's gonna start off with some great field position this time themselves, so let's see what happens. Deep drop from Thumper, throws Ooh. over the mid off! The jump scare defender comes in and snatched that right from the sky. It's Dante Grimm. Yeah, you know, that's my impact player. I figured he would be the name on defense. He just took that ball away from the receiver. Game's getting a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's certainly popping here in Madison as they're trying to cheer on their links to a opening night win here in the SFLM. First and ten for Albuquerque. They hand off the outside. Ooh. Cut back inside. Josh Slap. Slap gets the first down. Maybe a yard or two on top. Great run there by Slap. It's making you... Know, Busting through the holes, making a couple of spin moves, making people miss. Great blocking up front. Little chick move. You saw it all there on that run. Penalty on the play. That's going to be three, five yards for Albuquerque. Not going to have to worry about that one. Josh Slap was the one who was handed it off to on the run. If you're mass and you can't afford to make these mistakes and give free yards to um, Albuquerque offense now. No, not like this. Lama, the highlighted player, so far having three interceptions today. You can't throw the ball near him anymore today. <laughs> no. Patak on first and five, throws the outside, that's caught. Ooh. Ball within the 30, and Adobe tried to do a bit of a spin move, but was just a little bit too far to the sideline. Yeah, he just stepped out of bounds there. If not, he probably could have gone up the field a little bit more. That's going to be a lob pass nearly caught Lear with the pressure. And the yeah, ball is now to the 28th. Great job of attack to throw the ball out of bounds where nobody else could catch it. He felt the pressure at that time for sure. Deep draw from Ty Patak. Throw is a bit overthrown, I'm going to say. That was probably also a tip. Incomplete, making it third down and ten. This is a very, I mean, Matt, Albuquerque is in field goal range, but you really want to touch down on this drive. Yeah. That's what you hope for, at least. Third and ten, balls on the 27. They need to get to the 17 if they want the first down. Attack, looking around, throw, caught to the 24-yard line, and Albuquerque might have to settle for three. 
Again, Mass did, did a good job there. They were playing off the line. And you give them enough yards not to make the first down. Great, it's a great defense there. Now, Ye Verity out to attempt the field goal. Should be from 40 yards out. Should be well within his range. Kick is up, and it is good! 27-24 as this game inches ever closer with each other. These two teams are not going to let each other out of their sights. I mean, just when you thought, you know, everything was going Madison's way, Albuquerque is kind of inched their way back in, and we have a really good close ball game going now. Kick is away, and it's going to be taken at the 10-yard line. Up past the 10, 20, 25 to the 33-yard line. Where Switch Thumper is going to hope to get a little bit more in control of his offense once again. And don't forget, folks, APM Music is unrivaled music to bring your stories to life, inspiring every production with the world's most robust and constantly refreshed music collection, state-of-the-art technology, and world-class customer service. APM Music is the official soundtrack of the SFL. To explore their library and to find the perfect tracks for you, visit apmmusic.com and switch thumper. A wild overthrow. He seemed to have gone a little bit cold in the second half. Well, he's gotten away from his bread and butter offense where he's getting a little four and five yard piece at a time. He's trying to do too much at this point. I mean, all you gotta do is make your little five yard passes, burn the clock, keep Madison out, you know, keep Madison's offense I mean I'll probably the offense off the field. I think he's going a little bit crazy here. Thumper looking around, Thumper, that's gonna be caught! First down, Dylan Lewis, one of the new players here, new friends all around us here in the Simulation Football League. That time he nice did a good, game. his receivers did a good job, you know, getting open, but I don't like the passes down the middle of the field, they're always dangerous to me. Yeah. But, so, but as they say, you gotta risk it for the biscuit. Thumper throwing over oh, nice the throw. to the 30. Prince Wonder on the, on the catch. First and ten once more, Thumper goes over the middle. That is a all slants catch by Wonder to the 13. And they're keeping it going nice and smoothly. Deep drop from Wonder, throw to the corner, the end zone caught! Touchdown, Madison! What a grab! What a way to reach up and get it! The Lynx extend their lead. And what a play there by Thumper. And what a great catch by 86, Victor Williamson. is up and it's good Madison now up 34-24 on Albuquerque the Adams are still within striking distance 
becomes a little bit more difficult for them now. They don't, they're down by 10 points. And they only have 6, six minutes and 19 seconds left on the clock. Kick is away. Going to be taken at the 5. Up past 10. 15 to the 20. To the 24-yard line. And now type attack. The Albuquerque offense looking to bring this game back into one score. Now, if you're Albuquerque on offense, keep the march down and at least get one score, either a touchdown or a field goal. And you do all this, you know, need two scores in six minutes. And you have all three timeouts. So let's see what they do here. Heavy set look for Albuquerque. Attack. Deep drop. Throws to the side. That's going to be a gain of five. Oh, it's Adobe with another reception. Yeah, that was, that was kind of a weird-looking catch, but great job by the receiver to come down with the football. I mean, hey, a catch is a catch is a catch in these sort of circumstances. Play action Ooh. for Patak. Patak moving around. He's going to get sacked. Number 99, Dan Dash has came busting through the line and got to attack. Dash, that's the first sack of his young career. Welcome to the SFLM, my lad. Big lad, 6'3 and 303 pounds. Yeah. A big boy. Third and six. Patak lasers it, nearly picked off. And so with that, Albuquerque has to punt this ball away. It's the last thing you wanted if you were Albuquerque. And you're going to give Madison the ball back probably with pretty decent field position at that. Yeah, they're... So now what they're going to be hoping for is that they can get some sort of turnover or a three and out. Field left 35 to 41 for Madison. And after miss, and you go back to your little five and six short offense, eat the clock. Yeah, just focus on getting first downs at this point. Go back to your bread and butter. Thumper Whoa. lobs it, tipped in, nearly intercepted again. Clearly, he didn't get the memo because he's still playing very aggressive. That's number 41, free 50 gold, Osborne Davis on the deflection there. Could have been in pick six going the other way. Second. Second and ten. Thumper goes the outside this time to Prince Wonder. And they're going to say Wonder was out of bounds. Third and ten. I'd like to see that replay, but that we will. Yeah, it looks like he got the feet inbounds. But it's rather inconsequential at the moment. Deep drop for Thumper. Thumper throws to the sideline. Oh! What a catch by Prince Wonder! I'm not Maybe sure how he came down with that ball, but he did. And what a great catch and great room George after the catch. Forced the defender to bite, turned up field, and Dante Grimm got him at death before he could score a touchdown. It was great coverage by Dante Grimm there. I just... Got a little full there by the pass, and the receiver just hung onto the ball. His linebacker shifted on the line there. 
Thumper moving around the pocket, throws out of oh. picked off. Albuquerque gets a lifeline. And that lifeline is in the form of Alex Marshall. Like I said, Albuquerque's secondary has kind of been pretty dangerous tonight when you test them. Very deep draw from type attack. He's going to throw that one in. Oh, it's dropped. Ed Williams had the high point of ball, but it goes incomplete. Wow. Almost a perfect play, except the receiver dropped the ball. Second down and 10 for Albuquerque. Looking to come back. Nearly hit it as he throws type attack. Gain of five on the play. Third and five. Oh, they're in a hurry. Boppins down. Okay. Throw in the middle. That's caught! And getting through the second level. Great grab there by tight end number 87, Craig Leslie. Wow. Scott, that's another one to the 44. Maybe they should have came in and hurry up a lot sooner. <laughs> oh no. On the outside, that's another one. It's going to be a loss, unfortunately. He goes out of bounds, though. Second and 11. Clock does stop. I think that was a smart move. With the clock stop, you can regroup. You can, you know, call a different play. Second down and 11. Patak giving all the time in the world to throw! And all the time to make the catch as the Adams are moving the ball with conviction down the field. I think that was a wide receiver Dylan Lewis once again on the catch. Patak wow. lobs it to the end zone! Oh. Tipped and incomplete. That time he went for it all, but corner cornerback Newton North says, no, sir, not today. Yeah, and that's a whole lot of jump out of the little guy. Five foot eleven at corner, only one ninety-five. Yeah, but did he his going, job. Going against a six foot two wide receiver. Very good job. He must have an awesome vertical. Second and 10, balls on the 22 yard line. Patak looking around. Patak, that's going to be incomplete. In worst case scenario, you kick a field goal here, makes it a seven point game, and you do it again. I get a three and out in defense and come back and score again. See what happens here. Third and ten, Patak over the middle, intercepted, going the other way. Madison takes it right back to the 15, and it's the man who's certainly going to be haunting Ty Patak's nightmare tonight, Joseph Lama. Oh my gosh, he's, live, he's now living in Patak's head, um, head rent free, Jack. Pretty sure Ty Patak is paying him rent at this point. I mean, if you were Adams, that's the last thing you wanted to do. Anything but that. You were in field goal range. Now Madison just looking to close out the football game at this rate. 
if I were them, I could bite to my bread and butter, and I would just eat this clock. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Twitch Thumper, or Switch Thumper, has not uh, taken too kindly to that uh, advice. Yeah. If I'm get any more interception, I'm going to start worrying about my job. <laughs> <laughs> They, they may replace me with him. Second and six, throw the outside, that's caught. Gain of four on the play, third and two. Third and two, Madison needs this first down. Pump fake from Thumper, oh. incomplete. Albuquerque gets another lease on life as Dante Grimm deflects that one. Yeah, I'm surprised on the aggress aggressive play from the uh, Madison Lease. I mean, you're ahead by 10. There's three minutes left. All you gotta do is basically just throw the little four and five yard passes instead of trying to go deep downfield. We've been picked off several times. So they're going to have to punt this one away. Snaps a bit off center. Albuquerque takes it from the 35 to 39. 2.59 remaining. Realistically, if Albuquerque wants a shot to tie it up and send it to overtime or win this football game, they need a score before the two-minute warning. Yes, they do, Jack. And they need to make you know, come out and play very, very um, good defense. Ooh. And that's going to be a incomplete pass. Pressure made by Dan Dash. He said his name uh, a couple of times tonight. He's getting good pressure on the quarterback. Second and ten. Patak throws oh. the ball downfield, incomplete, third and ten. And they may have one or two more plays left in their arsenal. That was cornerback Thaddeus Campbell there with the deflection. Attack, lobs it, did, Ooh. tipped and complete, fourth and ten. Will they go for it here? Well, if you're out of you almost have to. It doesn't mean they will, but to me, they almost have to go for it here. And they are going to do just that, Patak in the shotgun. They need to make it to the 49-yard line. Attack, looking around, throws it short. Oh, he couldn't turn up field in time. Adobe, not enough. And first down for Madison. I think he was pretty much let out of bounds there. Not much he can do once he you knows my minimum start carrying him that way. Too bad. It was a nice little play there. Not enough room in bounds. The turn it on down here. Now the defense needs a miracle turnover here. From Switch Thumper. They're going there. They're going in really good field position here for the um for the Lynx. There we go. Thumper plays it short. It's going to not gain or lose anything, but should take us to the two-minute warning. But I like the safe play calling. 
I mean, every time you go down the field, you, you seem to throw an interception. You don't want that to happen here, for sure. Second and ten, and it's going to bring up the two-minute warning. Madison looking to close out this ball game. Albuquerque hoping for a lifeline. Don't go anywhere, folks. You're watching the SFLM on YouTube. Second and ten. Thumper airs it out deep. Oh. Incomplete. That stops the clock. Tended for Prince Wonder. Was it Dante Grimm again on that reflection? I thought it was. I think so. I think so. I mean, I don't understand what they're doing on offense here. I mean, you got two minutes left. You're five and six short, a little out of working. Why would you try to go deep down the field and throw it at the secondary once again? Third and ten. Thumper goes over the middle. And that's going to be another incompletion. Mass is going to punt it away after some questionable play calling by Madison. The and the Adams just won't go away. I mean, he gives them chance after chance. See if they can actually, um, these points out of this drive. Punt is away and is going to move out of the way. Albuquerque taking it up to the 20. 80 yards. And then another score after that in just 100 seconds. Can they do it? Well, they got a minute 43. Got all three timeouts. Let's see what happens. Let's go. To skip the ball away from Lala. Tack throws the outside. That's caught. Gain of five. And it stops the clock. Good job on their first down. On first down. Made the catch out of bounds, but you need more than five yards at a time here. Second out of five for Albuquerque. Deep drop. Patak's going to take it himself. Going to run it up to the 36-yard line. Nice game there, by attack. A little dangerous running the ball for a quarter. Back, but hey, whatever works. First and ten once more. And how did he catch that? I don't Cho -cho. know. I'm not exactly going to question it either. DJ Witch was all over him. Falls up to the 47. Attack taking Ooh. a deep shot incomplete. Minute and nine seconds remaining in the ball game. And what a hit by number 22, strong safety, JT Jackson. Two-way player from Jacksonville. That's kind of neat. Jackson, Jacksonville. Yeah. And the clock stopped. That's a good sign. Good for Albuquerque. Throw to the outside of Josh Flat. Flat didn't get out of bounds and forces Albuquerque to move to, to call a timeout. Now you gotta, if you're Albuquerque here, you have one minute and four seconds left, and you just at midfield, you gotta score faster than this. And then pray that the orange side kick goes in your favor.
They're gonna throw it again to Josh Slap. Slap, can he get out of bounds? They're gonna say yes. yes, fourth and four. That was close. I was so, so close to being in bounds. There's some luck going Madison's way. Albuquerque throws it over the middle, oh, incomplete, and Madison can just now kneel it out. They will have won the first game of this young SFL M season. Uh, what an interesting end to a game. And Albuquerque calls their first time out or second time out of the half. But a great game from both sides. Albuquerque coming back to life in the second half after getting down 24 7 towards the end of the first. Yeah, I think it's just a game with, with too many turnovers and attack wasn't happening as best game tonight. Their offense yeah, was rather was conservative. Just... Yeah, it was just kind of a little bit sloppy on a lot of fronts for Albuquerque. Meanwhile, for Madison, their quarterback, Switch Thumper, had a great game. And then you have Joseph Lama with the four interceptions. And the pick six, which really proved to be a difference maker in tonight's ball game. Definitely. They're going to be able to kneel this one out. We'll need it out one time. Then they will punt it. Albuquerque will get the ball back, but there won't be enough time to really make a comeback. I think they're going to the clock down in 10 seconds before they actually um, punt the ball. So they're going to be pinned deep in their own territory also. Hunt is away. And Albuquerque will get one last shot to throw it 80 yards to make the score look a little bit better. Yeah, they're not even in Hail Mary range at this point, Jack. They're just going to run the clock out and give Madison their first victory. Attack, launched it over the middle of the field. That is going to bring us in this ball game. Madison beats Albuquerque 34-24 in the opening game of this SFLM Season 6. Been a great game tonight, Rachel. Wait, I mean, yeah, both, score, both teams scoring over 20 points. I mean, look at the passing yards from the, from the links. It's astonishing for Switch Thumper for his first game. Yeah, and they were aggressive with it, too, throughout pretty much the entire game. Never really took their foot off the gas, even though it did, at some point, come to their own detriment. Meanwhile, for Albuquerque, they had a pretty okay game. So, looking forward to next week, Albuquerque looks to head home to the Duke City to play host to Lexington Miners. At 6.30, Newell Madison keeps it at home and brings in the Lincoln Rattlesnakes with their regional rivals just off in the Great Plains, not too far away from here in Wisconsin. Looking forward to another great SFLM season. And this is the first game of the season, so got lots more to look forward to. Yeah, tons to look forward to. Obviously, player of the game talks 
you, you yeah. almost have to give the Twitch thumper. I wouldn't go to the Flama, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a defensive person, so. Both would be very, very valid uh, options. Let's see who they decide to go with in just a moment's time. Been a great football game here. And still even a lot of uh, stuff to iron out, but this is the minor leagues. There's still a whole season ahead of us. Seven games at least for these two sides. And we could see this later on in the season. Well, we're going to see the final week of the regular season. That is for certain. As you can see, the main culprit here that extended Madison's lead and possibly gave them the win here tonight. And continue to look through the highlight reel from this second half. It's been a great one. Although Switch Thumper, as I said earlier, had several mistakes made. Wasn't a perfect one, but it was certainly a game to remember for these two teams. I think it's, it's, it's Switch Thumper's first, you know, first season in the SFL. It's his first game. Very impressed by the young man tonight. Yeah, been a very impressive start to what could be a very promising career. Player of the game honors tonight go to none other than Switch Thumper, quarterback for the Madison Lynx. From all of us here at the SFLM, I'm Jack Brown alongside Rachel Colson. Special thanks to Cameron Irvine for producing this football game. We say so long and have a wonderful rest of your Friday night. Good night, everybody. Be safe.